Okay, I'm getting ready to put Teflon rings on the forward drum shaft, the input shaft, the center supports, uh, Rob King's and Harry Savage's transmission. So you can see I already did Harry's a while ago. That's how long his car's been sitting here. Um, notice the bushing placement in this drum versus the bushing placement in that drum. This one went really good this morning. Figures I'm not trying to make a video when things go really good. Um, why Teflon rings over scarf cart rings? Um, a scarf cart ring is a ring that has a cut in it. Of course, I don't have any of those laying around here. <laughs> but it has, a, it has a slice in it right here. And so the oil gets behind it and then pushes it out. And it seals. But it always has a bit of leakage. So when you put a Teflon ring on there, you size it to the bore. Um, which in this case is the stator support and then you overrun housing and it sizes itself to that bore and Teflon is very resilient and it should never change and it makes a leak proof seal for the most part. Um, same thing on the center support. The center support uses an iron ring which is much like a piston ring in an engine except it does have little hooks to keep it shut. Um, the problem with the iron ring is that it does a really good job and uh, some builders will use them in a high performance application because they say when they jack the pressure up that it takes the wear properties away but this drum in my hand is very hard to come by um, and you can get them but most of the ones you're going to get are going to be undersized by the mass transmission warehouses um, so why am I going to take a chance on destroying the inside of this drum with those rings ride I'm going to run the Teflon rings, which are much more forgiving. They will not wear the inside of this drum. So in order to do that, here's my input shaft tool. It works on the forward drum. I'm going to slide the Teflon ring down there. And then I'm going to force it into the groove. I need two hands for that, so I will be back.